Cyber Overview showed you how what connectors are actually used for. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a connector to ACT. With, firstly, we'll go to the Tools menu and then select Connector Manager, which pulls up the Connector Manager box. On the left-hand side, you can see that we've got a tree showing all the connectors we have installed in this system. On the right-hand side, it shows us whichever connector we've selected. We can have folders so that we can organize our connector. We're going to create this connector in the Demo folder. So I'll expand that tree and then select the folder. Once we've done that, I'll click the New Connector button. And firstly, I'll give it a name. So Connect to Act 7. And then down here, I'm going to select the Act 7 connector. Notice that we've got two types of Act connectors, version 6 and version 7 or greater. I'll select that one. Click OK. And that pulls up the connector editor that is specific for this particular version. Notice that the dynamic help is also changed to provide us information about this connector editor. On the screen, you, on the dialog box, you can see that we have blue text that gives us information about the connector. First thing we need is the path to the PAD file. If I click the three dots, it brings up a dialog box. And I'll browse to the location of the ACT database in my system, or the ACT PAD file, rather. Windows 9, Databases, ActDemo.PAD. Obviously, that's specific to this particular system, but that's a fairly typical path for getting access to an ACT database. The next thing we need to provide is the name of the person we're going to use to log into the database with. Case is not sensitive, um, but if there is a password, we would need to provide the password there. Finally, down here, we can type some notes to remind ourselves of what we were doing with this connector. Once we're done, we click OK, and you can see that that connector is now in the tree. It tells us what type of, what name it is, what type it is, and reminds us of the notes available. And if we click around, you can see that we can look at other connectors that way. Thank you very much. That concludes this presentation.